Welcome to Haxby Shed. When I first got this spindle nose bush, which reduces from four and a half moss taper to three moss taper, it used to go in nicely and didn't used to stick too much. But since I've been using it, it's bedded in and it starts to stick and it's quite hard to get it out. The way I usually do it was use this broomstick, put it through the spindle, give it a good push and I could get this out. But the other day it stuck so much that I had to use a piece of metal to extract it and I made a couple of marks on it and I'm really annoyed about that. So I'm going to make an extractor for it. I'm going to take my usual approach to this which is just find a load of bits that look about right, uh, machine them a bit and fabricate it together. So this is an old pipe fitting threaded on the inside. I'm going to knock that bearing out and machine it so that this will go over the fat end of this bush. And that will rest then against the spindle nose. Um, when I've done that, I'll weld that washer over the end. This will be the bar that will pull through the middle. This washer here, I'll take it off this, I'll reduce the outside of it so that it's more like that size. And then I'll drill that hole out slightly, I'll push that washer onto this rod and I'll weld it onto this rod. And then the final part of this story is, I'll cut the end off this long bar, I'll put some grooves on it, I'll drill a hole in the end of the broomstick and shorten that and then just glue this in. I hope that explains it, you'll get the idea. First thing I'm going to work on is this. Just popping the bearing out. There you go. I've just cleaned the two ends up. Now I'll take the thread off here. I haven't cleaned all the threads off, but it's good enough for this. Now I'll just clean this up a little bit and this, turn it around, chamfer the other end slightly, set it up with these jaws in the centre and just clean that surface off. It doesn't need to be this long, but it doesn't matter and I don't want to put the effort in to make it shorter. I'm just going to skim the outside, working away from the chuck for safety. That's the finished job. There we are. And now to sort this washer out so that it just fits in the spindle tube. When I've finished, that washer will just go through there. I'll clamp that in the chuck and turn it down. That's it really. Just need the bar through the middle now and to weld that washer onto the bar. I'm set up on my little welding table. I'm going to try and use TIG to spot this washer onto this sleeve here. Now I'm really an absolute beginner with TIG so this is going to be a bit of an experiment for me. I've got my welder set to 95 amps DC about 5 litres per minute with a number six cup. The rod I'm using, I've actually just got these 
these are BS2901 A31s, or if we're talking AWS, then it's ER80SD2, which is the same, I think, as a Crown 8. It's chromoly rod. I have had a couple of goes with this and got some reasonable results. So that's going to be the setup. Let's see what I can do. I bought myself a cheetah lens. Don't know if you can see that in there. Problems with my eyesight, needing to use varifocals normally. So um, this little screen goes in here uh, with a magnification of 2.5 for me. And with that, I can actually keep my normal glasses on as well. So I'm hoping that will help me with my tungsten control. It was only about six pounds, this. So I'll be using it for the first time. Well, that caught me by surprise because it was quite easy. Ignore that little bubble at the front there. I was just finding my feet. I'll go on to do the others and see if I can make those look as good. Two out of the four welds went okay. This one, which was my first one, and this one, which was my last one. For the other two, I think I'd contaminated my tungsten. I hadn't realised, I tried to over weld to correct mistakes, and of course just made it far worse. But even so, really as an absolute beginner, I'm quite pleased with that, to be honest. I'll clean it up a little bit now. Well, the next step is to see if I can tack that washer onto there as a strengthener and also to reduce the hole down to 10 millimeters. Well, my luck didn't hold out. <laughs> These were going okay, but every time I took my finger off the trigger, I got a pop and you got that crater in the center. I'm not quite sure why, but you've got to practice to get good and this washer's stuck on, so it'll be all right for this job. I've tacked my washer on, on the bench, not in the lathe, but I'm just straightening this washer before I tack the other side. I think that's fine. Well, it's coming together now. I just put a spot either side of that washer. The materials are extremely dissimilar. This washer is really, really hard and this bolt is as soft as anything. It's about as good as you use for your garden shed. I'm sorry my welding isn't very good yet. I've only done maybe an hour of seat time and it's not that long ago that I didn't even know how to turn the welder on. So, you know, you've got to keep trying. It's no good saying, oh, that's too difficult. You just have to keep trying and trying until you get the hang of it. Same for this, really. It's a bit ugly, but you know, it'll do for this job, and I've learnt a bit more. So the next thing is to cut the wooden broom shaft to the right length, drill a hole in it, and then glue this end in here. Some PVA glue or something, some wood glue. When I put it together, you see the idea now. That'll go, the spindle nose. As I tighten this up, it'll just push that bush out. Now to cut a couple of reliefs out of that wood and then glue it in place. Should do, I think. Ah. Line it up. 
first. That's it. Well, now we need to see if it works. The washer on the screw on the broom handle keeps this exactly in line, so there's no fiddling to do to get this to come through the bush. And in fact, if the bush wasn't too tight, I could probably just give that a knock now and it would pop out. And there wouldn't be any marking on the bush because of that washer. I could probably shorten that screw a little bit if I needed to. Now again, there's enough bite on the back of the bush with the washer on the broom handle um, such that when I unscrew this now, as I tighten this nut, there's no torque really on the broom handle. But it was pretty tight though. And now it's out. So I'm sorry my welding was a bit scruffy. Um, I'm just a TIG beginner. But you just have to keep trying, don't you? Um, and you improve a little bit by bit. So I hope that was useful to you. Thank you for watching Hacks Be Shared.